that's why. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Stephen Cameron. <laughs> Ah, so, uh, so this thing uh, came up actually. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, they, we were out in the telco uh, going to uh, Angel Island, and uh, we're uh, coming up to uh, Point Blunt, and uh, so I uh, sang a verse of. Uh, this song uh, about the loss of the uh, sea prince, uh, which took took place right off point blank. So uh, I sang that to Gina and then came back and sang sang the rest of the song later. So she suggested we do this. So <coughs> I thought I'd uh, start off with the uh, loss of the tug sea prince, and uh, it's my words to a traditional tune uh, called uh, Buffalo Skinners. I'll tell you of the sea prince, she was a steam tug on the bay. She worked these waters for nine long years, made good money, so they say. She was a powerful little puller, pulled ships laden down with grain. Five men could run her and she paid her way. She worked hard and she made a good gain. Her fatal trip was an easy run, coming down through San Pablo Bay. Piloting down a British freighter, then sending her out on her way. The tug and the freighter were both under power, each steaming ahead on their own. The tug went ahead to show the way, but the freighter would not be shown was off Angel Island the tragedy struck off Point Blunt where a back eddy flows. All at once the freighter came up on the tug, the fault of it nobody knows. Instead of being a hundred yards back, the freighter comes steaming ahead. The bows of the freighter bit into the tug, and suddenly four men were dead. Captain Langren was standing at the helm, and he desperately turned the wheel. But he had no chance as the bows bit in, and the tug began to heel. The tug rolled under the freighter's bows, and the men were trapped inside. Captain Langren watched through the wheelhouse glass as all of his shipmates died. The tug rolled under the freighter's bows, rolled over and over again. Langwin was in the wheelhouse and the water was surging in. He thought he saw the face of death, thought this was his time to die. She rolled over and over, tossed like a toy, as the freighter kept steaming by. But finally the freighter passed over the tug, and the boat rose back up to the light. Langren got out and jumped over the rail, swimming with all his might. So Langren was saved by his good German luck, but the men and the tug sank once more. That gallant tug and her stricken crew lie dead on the bay's dark floor. Nineteen ten, uh, came across that resurgence tugboats. 